What's up you beautiful creatures? Welcome back. Today we have a full body workout that's gonna boost your metabolism. This workout is quick, intense, and it's gonna help you to burn heaps of calories. Let's get started. The first exercise is skater hop. Take a big jump to the left and bring your right foot behind, then jump to the right. If you can't do the jump, then just take a big step instead. This is a great exercise to bring the heart rate up. Now we have a 10 seconds break, so try to jog in place if you can. And the next exercise is squat jump. Make sure you land softly and if you can't jump, then just do a regular squat instead. Let's take a quick 10 seconds break and the next exercise is high knee. Bring your knee up to your hips level as fast as you can. This is so good for the abs and also your legs. Now we have burpees. I chose to do regular burpees for this workout, but you can add a push up too if you want to work your chest a little bit more. Or if you can't do a regular burpees, you can do a low impact version without the jump. Next is ski abs and this exercise is absolutely amazing for your abs. My abs and legs were burning at this point and I hope you are feeling it too. Next is jumping jacks. This is an easy exercise, but if you do it fast, you'll be able to burn so much calories. Next is top jump with bicycle crunch. This works the whole abs. Try to land softly from the top jump and squeeze your abs while you're doing the bicycle crunch. Next is knee pull. 
Bring your left leg back and drive your knee towards your chest. This works the abs, the legs and the arms as well. Now let's do the same on the other side. The last exercise for this set is wood chop lunge. Do a regular jumping lunge and add the chopping motion with your arms so that you're working your arms at the same time too. Now we have a 30 seconds break, so if you can, try to jog in place or you can also take a longer break if you need to. So I'm really loving this new Energy Seamless range. It launches next week and if you're thinking about getting it, we'll appreciate it heaps if you use my affiliate link in the description. And let's start with some shuffle and touch ground. You can shuffle a few times or just once, then touch the ground with one hand. This helps to bring your heart rate up again. Then we have high knee to ramp up the intensity. Now try to do it really fast. And you can also move your arms like you're sprinting if you want it more intense. Let's take a quick 10 seconds break and we have alternating lunges. You can also add a jump if you want to. Jumping lunges will definitely be more intense. Then we have jumping jacks again. Now do it fast.
The next exercise is sumo squat. Let's work on our inner thighs and our butt here. You can also do the sumo squat with a jump to increase the intensity. Next, we have push up with shoulder tap. If you can't do a push up yet, then you can try knee push up instead. Next we have mountain climbers, bring one leg in at a time and squeeze those abs. Next, we have tricep dip with leg raise. Alternate the legs while you're doing it. If you can't do this, you can do it with both feet on the floor. And this exercise is amazing for the triceps. The next exercise is bicycle crunch. Remember to squeeze your abs while you bring your leg in. And the last exercise for this set is in and out. Start in a high plank and jump both legs in. This is amazing for your low abs. Now we have a 30 seconds break. You can take a longer break if you want to. Now let's start the final set with burpees again. Baby. 
The next exercise is high knee. Try to do it as fast as you can but in good form guys. The next exercise is skater hops. Take a big jump or a big step, but land softly if you're taking a jump. And the next exercise is jumping jacks. Again, try to do this as fast as you can. The next exercise is tricep dip with leg raise. Your tricep should be burning by the end of this exercise. Next is reverse crunch, working those abs again. Bring your hips off the ground using your abs, not your arms. Don't cheat, guys. The next exercise is flooded kicks. I like to rest on my elbow because it's better for my lower back and also I can focus on my abs better. Then we have butterfly crunch. Work those abs. The final exercise we have for today is plank jacks. This is going to be our burnout exercise for our abs and legs. Try to do it in good form and finish the exercise.
That's it guys, be sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification to get alerts for my new weekly workout videos. I hope you had a good sweat and see you guys next week. Bye!